Is there a library of books around here where I could get books on hunting, preserving? Well, anything at all to do with hunting or preserving the meat, smoking it, whatever the hell it is. Talk to Kevin over there. That's your man, outdoorsman. What's your fascination with all that stuff? I'm going to Alaska. Alaska, Alaska? Or city Alaska? Because they do not have markets at Alaska, the city of Alaska, not in Alaska. The city of Alaska, they have markets. Oh, man. Alaska, Alaska. I'm going to be all the way out there, all the way fucking out there. Just no, no watch, no map, no axe, no nothing. Just out there, be out there in it. You know, big mountains, rivers, sky, game. Just be out there. In it. In the wild. In the wild? In the wild. Yeah. What are you doing when we're there? Now you're in the wild, what are we doing? Just living, man. Just living in that place. In that special moment in time. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe when I get back. I could write a book on my travels about getting out of the sick society. <laughs> society. <laughs> society. 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 Yeah, society. Yeah, it's society. Yeah, because you know what I, I don't understand? I don't understand why everybody is so bad to each other so fucking often. I don't get it. Judgment control the whole spectrum. I don't just what people are we talking about? You know. Parents. Hypocrites, politicians, pricks. This is a mistake. It's a mistake to get too deep into all that kind of stuff. Alex, you're a hell of a young guy. A hell of a young guy. But I promise you this. You're a young guy. Can't be juggling blood and fire all the time. You gotta just kind of be easy. My stepdad doesn't want me tutoring you. God, he's such an asshole. The world would be better off if he were dead. Have you ever thought about just killing him? (laughs) No. No? Of course not. But you just said everyone would be better off if he died. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm going to kill him. I mean, you could at least consider it. What? No. I mean, one should consider all options. Not murder. Sure. It's outside the box, but you can only get so far thinking the way everyone else does. I mean, look at Steve Jobs. What? I'm just going off of what you're giving me. It sounds like a cost-benefit analysis. It seems like you could generate a lot of good for a lot of people. Not for me. I'd go to jail. Not if you were smart about it. Think about it this way. Okay, if you were a fat man on a bridge and you could push him onto the track, save five people from an oncoming train, would you do it? He's not fat. And what bridge? There's no bridge. You're taking this too literally. You're not taking it literally enough. He's an asshole, but he's a human being. I am not going to kill him. Why not? I shouldn't have to explain this. You know, that's probably what people said to Christopher Columbus when he was like, I think the earth is round, instead of flat and surrounded by dragons. And they were like, shut up, Columbus, we shouldn't have to explain this to you. You know, that's probably what people said to Steve Jobs when he was like, I think this MP3 player is also a phone. Would you stop talking about Steve Jobs? Steve Jobs didn't commit murder. He murdered the competition. He murdered deeply held assumptions about the tech market, about culture at large. You know, I think a lot of the moral norms in this country come from weird old Puritan bullshit. There's nothing holy about a dick and a vag getting together and spitting at a little dude. And if that dude causes more harm than good, then it's like a piece of malfunctioning machinery. A lame horse. Exactly. It should be put down. See? You get it. Can we not? I don't know why you're getting so riled up. Because I can't tell if you're kidding. You are kidding, right? Sure. No, I'm not telling. I'm asking. My tone could primarily be described as ambivalent. You mean ambiguous. What's the difference? Ambiguous means there are multiple interpretations. Ambivalent means you have mixed feelings. I can have mixed feelings. 
Just because I don't have feelings doesn't mean I can't have mixed feelings. Yeah, let's just forget all this. Faye, how'd it go? Oh, those fuckers. How long did the court say he gets her? A week. Seven days? Girl, that's not that bad. I've heard so much worse than that. You can do seven days, right? That's like seven sleeps. Do you get to see her at least? For bath time. Hey, that's good. They don't always do that, you know. Court gave me no visitation rights at all the first time I left Carl, calling me unfit. Those suits can say whatever they want. You're a great mom. No, I never should have left. Yes, yes, you should have. <laughs> He's a great dad, and Maddie adores him, and they're home right now snuggling together, and I'm alone in a shelter I don't belong in. You are here because he abused you. He didn't abuse me. He punched a wall beside my head, and I didn't do anything about it, and I didn't call the cops. Punching a wall next to your head is emotional abuse. Before they bite, they bark. Before they hit you, they hit near you. Next time it was going to be your face, and you know that, Alex. I don't know what I know. I mean, look at me and Carl. This motherfucker tried to strangle me. You think it started out like that? You think on our very first date, he was all past the salt, baby girl, someday I'm gonna strangle you. No. <laughs> it grows like mold. But I lost Maddie. Stop it. All right, stop. Um, hmm. Try telling me something you're angry about. Anything that pisses you off, quick. Uh, Regina pisses me off. Great. Who's Regina? I cleaned her house and she refused to pay me, so I lost my job. Wait, so you just did the work and then she didn't pay you? Girl, I bet she lives in a gorgeous-ass house, too. In her Lululemon pants and her KitchenAid standing mixer. That's got to make you angry, right? Yeah, it does. Great. Grab your coat. Let's go. We're pulling up. That bitch is going to pay you. Wh no, it's not worth it. None of this is worth oh, it. Oh, come on, Alex. Get angry. you got to dig in there and pull that shit out, Mama. What he did to you was fucked. But they're not going to listen to me. I said get angry. Seven days is not that long, okay? You have got to... File an account of abuse for the court, you've got to get yourself a DV advocate. You have to get your ducks in a row, but instead you're lying here. So you have got to get off your ass, Alex, and you've got to fight. Get angry, Alex! Girl, I can't slap you because we're in a DV shelter, but you have got to get up and you have got to fight for yourself. Oh, Opal? So there's a girl now. Yeah. This woman is like, whoa. I am legit feeling her. I feel so safe. You know, I don't believe in labels, but as a sex-positive polyamorous pansexual, words like monogamy and family never felt like a remote possibility. But she owns her own nursery. She's a horny culturalist. That's so hot, right? I could talk about work with her. My parents would love her. And she already has a kid from a turkey baster with that friend from college, so I get insta-daughter without labor pains or stretch marks. I can see the three of us skipping down the street, holding hands like we're in a commercial that has products only white folks would buy. And the key to all this is, unlike the men I'm be dealing with, she's not trying to own me, and that's real talk. <laughs> real talk. That's what we're aiming for at all times here? Right. Right. And her ego isn't so massive, so I have space to be myself. And I'm sorry, am I gushing too much? No, no, it's great. These passionate feelings, it's great. Are you uh, more at home with an intimate partner of the same sex? I don't think about it like that. It's more whether or not I'm into the person. It's whether or not you're into the person. Yeah. And you're sure that Opal... Yes. Believe me. She's good. Please. Well, you seem to be more open and at ease having rekindled this particular relationship. I am. And the tools you've been suggesting have been helping. Good. Deep breathing... Wearing that dress, visualizing spaces. You know, I feel like I've needed all of them because I have been attacked from all sides. 
or with Opal, I don't have to fight back all the time, you know? At least the condom didn't break. <laughs> I think that it can be better. I mean, like, more fun. Eventually. There's really no other direction it could go. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not your fault. I didn't think it was. It's not. And it wasn't my fault either. Why? Do you think it was my fault? Oh. I don't know. But I don't, I don't think that's how it was supposed to go. Uh, you know, even if you've never... It didn't feel right. I mean... Right? Did it? It felt weird. <laughs> didn't feel good. And maybe you weren't turned on enough or something. I don't know how that shit works or what's, like, normal. Or, I mean, with with guys, the equipment is pretty self-explanatory. But with girls, I Okay, just... all right. Um, you know what? This all just happened really fast. And we got carried away. And we made a mistake. And look, it's not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. It had to happen sooner or later. And we just got it over with. I should probably go. I guess I'll... I'll call you. Wait. I'll call you. Just because I have a crazy couple of weeks coming up with finals and everything, and Ronnie keeps calling me, apologizing, so I don't even know what's gonna... And you want to spend as much time with your sister as you can this summer before you go to New York, so... It probably isn't a good time for you either to be getting into a... Relationship? Anything. God. Just for the record, I tried to stop it. You, you practically... <laughs> practically your... what? No, nothing. I'm sorry it happened. Yeah, me too. All right, great. I guess I'll see ya. See ya, Dave. I got into college today. That's awesome. What? Yeah, in Philadelphia, which is really cool because that's where my sister lives, but- Amy, there's... I I don't know what to say. That's, dude, congratulations, very cool. Yeah, um, it's not that big of a deal and there's no way that'll go, so. What are you talking about? Well, my mom, I have to help her with her route. What does your mom have to do with the route? The paper route? Yes, she's alone. Amy, your mom is a grown woman. She can take care of her paper route herself. You are definitely going to Philly. A hundred percent you're going to Philly. You need to start standing up for yourself. How? How? Well, I'll teach you. Repeat after me. Mom, get off my motherfucking back. What? Yes. <laughs> no. Say it. Mom, get off my back. No, you got to do the motherfucking. I can't. Yes, you can. Do it. Say it. Mom, get off my fucking back. Motherfucking. The fuck? Motherfuck? Go, motherfuck. Yes. <laughs> fucking motherfucking. Get off my motherfucking back, Mom. Yes. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> motherfucking. That's good. Who else? Who else? I like this. I don't know. Uh, stay out of my motherfucking business, Crystal. Fuck you, Crystal. Yeah, and fuck you. What yeah. about uh, uh, ex-boyfriends? What? Oh, my God. We need an ex-boyfriend in there. I don't have an ex-boyfriend. What? Yeah. You're 17 years old. You don't have an ex-boyfriend? No, guys don't really look at me like that. Absolutely guys look at you like that. Uh, no. No, no. I just saw two guys look at you like that. Eric Wolf and Cody Dennis were 100% hitting on you. We were just talking. No! <laughs>
No, there's absolutely no way. I'm just... Because you're what? You're absolutely beautiful. Let me take you to the prom. What? Please. Oh. Please, oh let me take you to the prom, Amy. Yes. I can't do it. You can absolutely do it. I'm a terrible liar. You are a magnificent liar. W what do I say? You're sick and you can't come in. Is that all it is? It's a cinch. Here. Do you know how many times I have cursed the people that do this? A million. <laughs> and now here I am doing it. I can't believe You're it. You're a convert to the world of lying and sloth. <sighs> Give me that phone. I... I'm going to toss in a whopper. Watch this. I'm going to sneeze her into oblivion. <laughs> Louise, it's me. Very nice. I'm sick. Yeah, great. Get right to the point. I've got something bad. Perfect. Oh, I'm not sure. Something very bad. Maybe try and get a little more specific. I think it might be to... to bunkular. Excellent. There you go. Sound serious? <coughs> Could lead to debunculosis. Oh, I already called. They said it's a 24-hour thing. Short-term debunculosis. From food, apparently. Careful, Joe. You don't want to get too oh, medical. No, I'm not sure. I did have a tuna sandwich. So now you're going to get yourself in trouble. Oh, no, no, no. Don't come by. It's okay. Oh, shit. Time to hang up. <coughs> oh. No, they said it's contagious. Can you just do the scenes again? It's a plague! A plague, Joe, sh hang up, seriously. No, 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 I doubt it would be in the papers. They're trying to keep it from spreading. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, Louise! I feel a sudden surge coming on. I think I should go take a shot. A, 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 a pill. A, a shot. A pill. A thing. <laughs> Wow. I told you. I think she believed me. Is that possible? You know what? I don't care. I don't even like tuna, you moron. I am staying home to smoke cigarettes and to make out with my husband. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. How do you feel? I feel slack. Welcome to the human race. So now what? Booze. Isn't it like 8.30 in the morning? Technically. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I might puke. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh! <coughs> Burn my calendar. I am unavailable. Sue, what are you doing here? I've been looking for you. We need to talk. Yeah, we do. Um, Why haven't you come to see me? Well, I... I thought you were mad at me. I am mad at you. That's why you should have come to see me. Sue, listen, it's really not fair of you to be angry at me just because I reached out to someone else about my work. It has nothing to do with you. <laughs> it has everything to do with me. You once told me you wrote for me and me alone. But I guess my thoughts aren't enough for you anymore. Now that I've had a baby, my brain is worthless, I suppose. No, I you've barely had time for my poetry since you had the baby. And you've barely had time for my baby since you're constantly writing your goddamn poems. There it is then. You don't even care about my poems anymore. Of course I do. I just... Then I, why should you take it personally when I reach out to someone else for his opinion? A man? A stranger? Someone who doesn't even know you? Exactly. He doesn't even know me. He only knows my words. I don't have to worry about his feelings getting involved. Like when you tell me you hate a stanza. Maybe you're just angry because I didn't help you change diapers. <laughs> or worse, when you say you love a line. Well, maybe all that means is that you love me. I do love you, Emily. And what is wrong with that? God, it is so unfair living like this. It's miserable. All I want is to be with you, is to curl up in bed with you at night, and, and instead I have to wait days and weeks with nothing. Not nothing. I write to you. Isn't that something? Emily, 
You are a poet. You work so hard on your poems. You want every line to be perfect. But I want the mess. I want something that you can't put into words. I want you, and I want you to want me. Of course I want you. But I can't just live at your house. For one thing, Austin isn't even speaking to me. Okay, and what if Austin goes away to war? What then? What do you mean? They're drafting every able-bodied man. His time will come. When Austin goes away to fight, will you come see me then? Or will you just find another excuse? I'd better get back. It's going to rain. Kiss me. I can't. Today is just not a good day. God. Emily, don't you realize today is all we have? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that's insane. It was maybe one of the saddest moments I've ever felt. And, and I just realized that everyone grew up and left me here. And, and I know I'm still young. I, I know 25 is not 35, <laughs> but when everyone you're young with grows up, you feel old and fucked. Really fucked. <laughs> Do you want to come back to my place? What? Do you want to come back to my place? What for? So we can have sex? Oh. Uh, no, thank you. Sorry. It's just that I'm... I'm not attracted to you like that. I'm not attracted to you either. You want to come over? I I'm good, but thanks. Okay. <laughs> but also, I just, like, don't believe in casual sex. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's it's not like religion. Casual sex is not something you can choose to believe in or not. Oh, I mean, it uh, exists. Oh, I guess I just, like, I mean, I don't think it's possible. Uh, okay, um, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that, but... Uh, think about it. How do you get hard? Excuse me? How do you get an erection? Uh, um, you're turned on. Um, someone turns you on. I, I, when you get hard, it, it's because blood is flowing to that region. It, your penis basically fills with blood, but, but how does it get there? It comes from the fucking heart. You literally can't even jerk yourself off without your heart having something to do with it. So, I mean... I'm not like a nun. I I've done my fair share of whatever, but I'm not good at pretending like it doesn't mean anything. Because it does. Because anything having to do with your dick has to do with your heart, too. Why'd you invite me out for drinks? What do you mean? I mean, we've worked together for like four years, and we've never had drinks before, just the two of us. What is this? Oh, I just, um... I'm trying to make new friends. Oh. It's hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really get what you're so upset about. Well, I guess I'm just insane. I thought we had a really good time together. And I was actually in a fairly up state of mind for once. I'm sure you were. Well, I didn't mean that in a lascivious way, so I don't know why you'd want to take it like that. I really like you. Yeah, whatever. No, not whatever. I'm sorry I said anything to Dennis. I definitely caved under the peer pressure. But I also definitely said as little as possible and was completely respectful in the way I talked about you. Even though I was pretty excited about what happened last night. And also about maybe, like, the prospect of, like, I don't know, like, going out with you, which I'd be totally into if you were. If you want to think the whole thing meant nothing to me, then go ahead, because that's not the case. Well, you know, I really... You know, it's totally weird, like, taking all your clothes off and having sex with somebody who you barely know, and then being like, what's up now? Like, it's such an intense experience, and no one knows what to fucking say, even though nothing bad actually happened, you know? Well, I don't know. <laughs> but I really like you. I don't agree with most of your opinions. Oh, thank you. But I haven't met anybody who can actually make me think, you know? And who can hold their own in an interesting discussion. And who I'm totally hot for at the same time, you know? It's a fairly effective combination. I don't know, Warren. 
everything you're saying is really sweet, but I literally have no idea whether you mean it or not. It's... It's like my instinct is just broken, and sometimes I guess actions speak louder than words. But what action could I possibly take except to say I'm sorry for it is whatever you think I've done? Presents are always nice. Just kidding. You want a present? I was kidding. What do you want? Are you serious? Name it. Okay. Mm. Can I have the hat? Definitely. Are you really? It's yours, here. Don't, if you don't want to. I really want to. Because I really like you. Why are you so sad? You know, I'm enjoying my life more than most people, okay? Yeah, at everybody else's expense. Oh, what, like I'm the only one? Everyone I know is a fucking addict. Cigarettes and alcohol kill more people than drugs, and not to mention fucking pharmaceuticals. Half of America is a fucking addict. I just don't pay taxes on my shit. That's all anyone fucking cares about. It's fucking money. What is this, a silent treatment, huh? You lied about your mother being sick so you could buy drugs, Gus. No. That is so wrong on so many levels. You don't give a shit about anybody or anything. All you fucking care about is your fucking smack. Why, why don't you go and fuck Mr. Logan? The vegetarian rock star and just leave me the fuck alone. Okay. I, it's so fucking stupid. Fine. I am Fine. so fucking stupid. You know, we made love, all right? And I thought that was real. And, and you skip off and give me the fucking run around? Fuck. You fell asleep inside of me. What? You fell asleep. You nodded off in the middle of having sex with me. Do you have any idea what that feels like for a girl? Ruby, listen. Oh, I don't care. It's dope. I don't fucking care. I don't. Fuck it. Whatever. Wh whatever. Whatever. Maybe. Whatever. You know what? Fucking dig that gold. Fucking keep digging that fucking gold. Excuse me? Yeah, dig it. Fuck you. Dig gold, Fuck baby. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not gonna let some fucking junkie judge me. Oh, you're sitting there shooting up in front of me. Oh, but I'm the fucking gold digger because I'm not like, oh, hey, awesome. Wow. Yippee. I've got no money, no job, no ambition, and I spend all my money on smack. What a catch. I'm, that makes me a fucking gold digger. Whatever, baby. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, and this has nothing to do with Logan. I mean, at least he has his fucking shit together. I am a grown up, Gus. I am a grown ass woman. What am I doing wasting my time with you? Huh? What am I doing? Gus. Gus! Gus! Charlie, I'm so sorry. You know that was the worst breakup speech I ever heard? What? Yeah. Like a D minus would be generous. It was. Zeros from all the judges, Katie. You know, it was a total flop. Well, I've never done this before. What do you expect? Seriously, Charlie, we cannot keep doing this. We can. What I can't do is I can't stop thinking about you. you know, I know what it is and I know what you're going through, but we're not the couple who doesn't try. You even knew that before I did. I nearly lost my scholarship last year and you were right there helping me, guiding me along. And you never gave up on me, so I'm not giving up on you. Not that easy. I don't want to lose you, Katie. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. And so you could just leave me here on the porch, or you could stop getting in your own way and we could have the best summer of our lives. Either way, you deserve to be happy. Why are you saying this, Charlie? Katie, the night we met at the train station, I already knew you. What do you mean? In elementary school, you used to walk by my window on the way to the library every day. In the fourth grade, you started skateboarding. In the sixth grade, you wore that Ken Griffey Jr. jersey every day for a month. <laughs> <laughs> and in the ninth grade, you decided to bus off all your hair. Oh my God, you remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was not the look. No, it was, it was not. not. <laughs> Yikes. <sighs> and every day you walked by my window, it was the best part of my day. 
And if I had just looked up, I could have been with you this whole damn time. <laughs> you were. I love you, Charlie. I love you too, Katie. Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Sharon, all I want to do is what, make... What, Derek? What? What do you want? I just want to talk to you. That's all. Oh, now you want to talk? Sharon, you know me. No, not... I don't know you. I know the Derek that told me everything. But you? I have no idea who you are. But Sharon, I was wrong. If I hadn't gone to the ER, if I hadn't called Ben, would you have even told me about this? Well, uh, are you crazy? Of course I would have told you. Yeah, like you told me about the Christmas party, huh? Or, or what about the parking garage? Yeah, you told me about being in a parking garage with this woman. What else haven't you told me, Derek? Because all I'm hearing are things you haven't told me. I was wrong. I should have told you the truth from the you beginning. You should have. But I... Why didn't you? Because you know what? I didn't think it was a big deal in the first place. And then I was embarrassed. How do I say it without looking Guilty? like some... Guilty? You let this happen. Oh, you think I encouraged this? Oh, don't give me the you innocent think... bullshit. I was there at your desk. I saw you. I saw how you played your games and you played all those girls. But you never did that to me. Until now. What is this? Is this about me wanting to go back to school? God, Sharon, it is not like that. This woman is sick. Okay, well, do I ever happened. ask you for anything? I never asked you for anything. All I ever asked was for you to be honest with me. I told you the truth. No, you did not. I did. You lied. I specifically asked you, did anything happen at that party? And what did you say? You said no. I know. I don't even know what to believe right now. I think I need to be alone. What? No, no, no. No, no. I think I need to be alone, Derek. Stop, stop, stop. Just okay? get out Come of my on, house. Sharon, this is crazy, Sharon. Nothing happened with the. Okay. You know what? You just tell me what you want me to do, and that's what I'll do. Well, first, I suggest you pack your toothbrush. And then I want you to get your socks, your shaving kit, your underwear, your prophylactics if you think you need them, and get out. What? And go where, Sharon? To hell. But until then, I suggest maybe the Four Seasons. <laughs>